Hey what's up everybody, it's your boy Darius from coming at you with another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the classes system and the gear system that we have in the Division 2. So this will entail the gear sets and the gear set talents, individual gear talents, and the, the class talents and such. So let's get right into it. So in the Division 2 we have a new system called the class system and essentially once you hit level 30 you can specialize in one of three classes these classes are interchangeable though so you're not stuck in a class that you don't want like let's say i choose a survivalist uh, by the way the three classes are survivalist demolist and sharpshooter sharpshooter gives you a 50 cal demolist gives you a grenade launcher and survivalist gives you a crossbow so let's say i'm tired of using the crossbow and i want to use the demolist i can easily switch to the demolist without any problem and something that was really interesting that was shown in this clip of an interview for from ubisoft is that apparently once you specialize in a certain class there's going to be talents for that class and then you can like earn certain talents from a certain class and then switch to a different class and still have those talents i'm assuming from the way that they phrased it you would have to watch the clip i'm gonna play it right here really quick for play style and choosing exactly how they want to play doesn't mean that they're mutually exclusive you can mix and match you can choose a uh, 50 cal sniper rifle unlock some of its advantages and then decide okay i want to go to demolitionist with the uh, grenade launcher and unlock some sort of mods for my skills based on that progression path too. So as you can see that really makes it seem like you can have a talent from a survivalist and demolist at the same time. So that's really interesting. Also another thing to note is that these class systems have replaced the ultimate skills so no more recovery link or um, survival link and stuff like that. So that's going to be something to deal with. I know that those links were really annoying in PvP. So this could actually be a good thing for PvP. I just don't see how these specialized weapons will fit into the new PvP. Because Division PvP was most for the most part fast paced. So how are you going to shoot somebody running up on you with like let's say a lightweight M4. He's, he's shooting up on you and then you're going to shoot him with a grenade launcher. Or like you're going to pull out your crossbow and shoot at him like. Um, that, that doesn't really make sense in my opinion, but that's something interesting. Also, another thing that he said is that through these different classes, you're going to be able to unlock different skill mods. So your skill mods won't be tied to, let's say, um, getting your HQ to the max in a certain column, but instead now they're going to be tied to your specialization. So that's going to be interesting. I really want to know more details on that because if that's the case then you're gonna have to play all the uh, specializations to really get the full feel of all these skills so that's really interesting they're pushing players to go outside their comfort zone basically so yeah so that's all we know for classes in the division 2 i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if we get some more news on the division 2 class systems i will make a follow-up video to let you guys know so keep your notification bells on and subscribe my next video will probably be breaking down the gear sets and all the talents that we know for them so far and how we think they're going to work because nothing is confirmed at this point because this is an early beta since the game is coming out March 15th of next year. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.